How's it going everybody? I was about to sit down and play some ground war, hop on some modern warfare, get some footage, put out a new video for y'all, go for a nuke, whatever. But I get on, here you go, here's realism ground war. I didn't ask for it. If I wanted it, I would toggle something and select realism ground war, but I've never wanted to play that. And today isn't the day that I'm starting to want to play that. Congratulations and shout out to everybody who does want to play that and who's going to enjoy that. Have a fun week on there. But I don't see why they take the mode that's the main only thing that I play on the game except for when I have a friend on playing Warzone. Ground War is the only thing that I play. This artificial scarcity, these manipulation tactics where they're taking a switch on a computer just toggling it on and off they're trying to treat us like drug fiends, literally. They're trying to treat us like fiends and manipulate our attention spans. They're literally taking things, giving it to us, taking it away, bringing it back. It's like, you know, your parents got divorced and your dad bought you an Xbox and he said, you gotta leave the Xbox at my house. You can, I'm getting you an Xbox for Christmas, but it stays at my house. Oh, I wanna go over to dad's house. You know what I mean? Like people are like, I can't wait till next week because wars or ground war is going to be back, regular ground war. And instead of just giving us an option to play what we want to play, they're trying to extend the lifespan of the game by manipulating people's attention spans, manipulation, manipulating people's experience, limited time modes. They're not limited time modes. The mode's not going anywhere. It's already it's already had its inception it's already been put into practice it's already been in the game all they have to do is press a button and enable it or disable it and these are things that they're doing in order to make you play the game next week but you've been starved of this for a week so now you're gonna act different it's like a girlfriend who's not gonna give you any you know for a while and then you get some and then you act different. <laughs> so you get, you catch my drift. I'm just, I'm kind of sick of it because, you know, they took away a lot of the pay to win principles and a lot of the things that are wrong with the game this year in terms of financially predatory practices. But now they replaced it with a whole bunch of other things like limited time modes. They've, they've had limited time modes on other games and stuff like that. But I feel like on this game, it's just come to a point where it's getting out of hand. Like you can blatantly tell that these developers are either out of touch with their community or they're just doing whatever brings in the most profit or whatever. Um, they have a plan basically to extend the game's life cycle as much as they possibly can. And without them announcing the next Call of Duty, I think that they're just trying to stretch this out as much as they can by basically using artificial scarcity to make you think or to make you feel like, oh, I'm looking forward to next week. I'm looking forward to this. Like, if you want to play the game, you want to play the game. If you don't want to play the game, you don't want to play the game. And I think if they just put it all in there, because it really is all in there, they just hide it basically and lock it away but i mean it's just dumb because there's so many things that they do that uh you know it's clearly all just for the sake of money they don't really care you know and it's disappointing because you know i hope that they fix a lot of these things and i hope that they listen to the community because there's an opportunity for some other game or something to come in and just swoop in and do everything better, you know. At this point, the best thing they have going for them is the Call of Duty name and the legacy and the things that they've built for themselves. But a lot of the ways that they've been handling things, you know, whether it's the lag, whether it's the fucking, uh, the map updates, like the fucking, the playlist updates, limited time modes, artificial scarcity, all this shit that they're doing, the skill-based matchmaking, whether it's these different practices like them having a patent to put worse players in a lobby with people who have cosmetics who are better rated players so they get destroyed by them and then want to go spend money on those cosmetic items. 
I don't even know that that's going in or that that's being used, but they own a patent for it. So why would you file a patent that you have no intention on using? That's just my two cents. I would not, I wouldn't go file a patent or start a company that I never had any intention on making money out of. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is, but this was just a little rant. Hope everybody has a great day. Love y'all, appreciate y'all. I might hop on Warzone and get some footage on there or something. But I'm just a little bit annoyed with the game at this time. I was on this morning playing Ground War, regular Ground War, the good one, getting annoyed by campers and shit. And then I get on Realism Ground War. I don't even get a fucking hit marker when I hit somebody. Shit is dumb, man. Like, if I wanted to play something more realistic or something, I'd go get on Rainbow Six or I'd go play Escape from Tarkov or some shit. But yeah, man, everybody have a good one. Appreciate y'all. And I can understand from the viewpoint of the developers, from the from the viewpoint of the lifespan of the game, how you could think that the, the game will last longer if people don't just get burnt out on the same playlists, on the same modes, over and over and over again. But the point, the fact of the matter is, you can't artificially engineer that out Every game's gonna have its life cycle. Every great album, if you play it enough, you get sick of it. You know, like, if people play their favorite map over and over until they get sick of it, that's on them. I understand that you might think that it's gonna hurt your bottom line and you're gonna make less money if the player base gets burnt out on certain things, but they should have the freedom to choose that on their own. You shouldn't artificially engineer that in there to try to keep people loving this or try to keep people liking this or to try to push this on people or other people like things like map voting or any of that it just it doesn't make sense from a logical standpoint or from the standpoint of just trying to make a great game in general all of those things take away from the good